So I suppose this Leo Hofstetter has experience running a two-tiered public-private hospital, does he? He has. But Shorten Street will be the first one in the country. He's from Singapore. When hiring foreign nationals, a company must first prove that there are no New Zealanders who can do the job. So we were just making up numbers. <laughs> What's the bet this Leo was already on the plane last night when you called us? I'll come back. Absolutely not. Gerald and Libby were just leaving. Thank you for your time. Hey, look, mate, I heard you were back. Don't ask. Now, my ideas for the private wing. Let's hear them. Pet idea number one. In 2009, research showed that 70% of people would pay $1,000 to jump a family member to the top of the list for bypass surgery. If you're looking for a media strategy to uh, announce the private service to a distracted public... Which I am. ...structure it around bypass surgery. It'll cut through the noise. Idea number two, updating the patient consent procedures. What? You've worked hard on this. What do you expect? Excuse me. Hi. Well, that sounds delicious, but... Uh... I won't be able to make it. Last minute jitters, last minute meetings. Okay, I'll see you at home. When did you last eat? Breakfast. What are you doing? Yes, I'd like to book a table for two, please. Somewhere quiet, we'll be working. Handbag, now. Chris Warner. Hey, what's with the hat? Oh, it's from my car. <laughs> it is the standard issue beauty school sun hat, which got us thinking about... Uh, pre movie corn chip. And some guacamole. Well, I've got a date of my own tonight. Opportunistic viral infection. Ooh, sexy. <laughs> There's a panic button under the table. <laughs> I think I can handle him. Now, Hunter is going to be changing my liver in about six years, so we need to let him study as much as possible. Now, let's hope this movie has been in the sink and we will. Hey. Well, we should learn those ninja moves from. I nearly sconed you. I really enjoyed myself tonight. Yeah, me too. You're so funny. <laughs> funny looking. Oh. I know. Electric, huh? Oh. Are you okay? Oh, God, not tonight. What's wrong? Oh, I get these sudden onset migraines. Oh, I've got paracetamol in my bag. No, nah, that won't touch the sides. I've got some prescription stuff. Where? I'll go and get it for you. No, look, you just better go, all right? I, I don't want you to see me puking at it. stage two. It's coming up any minute now. Oh, you poor thing. <sighs> Remember me how I was. <laughs> Having so much fun as well. That's okay. Call me tomorrow and let me know how you are. I will miss you, yes, but you need to get on a plane back to the United States and go and beg for your job back. Get your career back online. <laughs> what career? Hello? The company you work for was a Fortune 500 company. It had two Learjets and a super yacht in Hawaii. That career. I was fired, Gerald. That's why I came back. No! What happened? They found out I was trying to fudge my work visa. I was given 24 hours to leave the country before facing deportation. America dumped me, Gerald. Why didn't you tell me any of this earlier? No, that I was coming back with my tail between my legs. <laughs> that I'm broke, FYI. That's why I'm drinking tap water. <sighs> this job was my only chance not to be a loser. Oh, as if you only have one chance. And you're not a loser. And neither am I. Libby, I'm not going to get anywhere by standing still. So, there will be a job coming up at Shorten Street Hospital sometime soon, and I guarantee that it'll be yours if you want it. <laughs> if you say reception, I'll die. Well, it's not walking in at the top, but it's a long way from the bottom, and it will keep you off the tap water until you find something better. P.A. Where are you going? Well, you know how you said you were blazing a trail for me to follow? Oh, I didn't mean that. But it's true. When you left for the States, I was so jealous, and then I just got over it. But now I'm thinking, what if I did the same? Learn from my mistakes. You will have exactly the same visa nightmare that I did. Oh, no, that's not a problem for me. Why not? Well, I was born in Guam. My parents were part of the hippie commune there to protest the military base. Guam. Guam. 
It's in American territory. So you have an American passport? I do. Now, don't take this the wrong way, but you know that job you had in the States? You haven't ever replaced you yet. So there it was, our first big father and son talk. Are you gay? And is he? Apparently not. But it did start me wondering about other members of my family. Who? Uncle Garth. It's because of him I have a love of musicals. He's a Worthington. There's no room in the water closet for him. Too many other skeletons. <laughs> oh, the water closet has several wings. <laughs> <laughs> How rude of me. What? Ah, oh, don't be silly. Well, I'll pretend I'm chivalrous. Equity contest still. Correct. Even in Singapore on the subway, there was this blonde-headed guy. Who reminded you of me? Who stood out, naturally. And reminded you of me. Callum has a conference in the morning. Wellington, I should go. You're allowed to be sentimental, Rachel. You're allowed to have memories. Thank you for your ideas. I'll tell Jill to expect them in an email from me. You're running away. Don't flatter yourself. I'm going home. Mum, those cars are about to catch fire. Yeah, deal up. I'm ready. Finally! Well, don't just sit there, Maya. Glasses for everyone. Champagne for everyone! <laughs> we have the most amazing news. How can you both be happy? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to figure out. Come on, who got the job? Libby, would you like to be the first one to tell your mother? <laughs> oh, congratulations, darling. When do you start? Oh, I don't. <laughs> Neither do I. Someone else got the job. Thank goodness. Then what are we celebrating? I'm going to get my old job back in America. And I'm going to be finding a brand new job in America right after we get married. Ah, just call me Mrs. Tippett. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>